So we're in the month of October and today I decided that I'm going to make something with our pumpkin puree that I made a few weeks ago. So I'm going to be making a few different things today and then later on for dinner I'm going to make something out of butternut squash that I think my kids are going to enjoy. So the first recipe I'm going to do is the classic pumpkin bread and this has two cups, I don't know if you remember in my previous video, this has two cups of pumpkin puree and the recipe is actually calling for one and a half cups so we're going to be using most of this pumpkin today. So I just got this out of the freezer and I'm literally just going to set this in my sink all day until it's all the way thawed out and not frozen anymore. So I got some errands to run today so surely by the time I get back later on this will be ready to go. I'm excited to try this first recipe. It's called sweet spinach muffins and they're supposed to be a lot healthier of a breakfast choice for my kids so I have been looking forward all day long to making these and now what's going to be different and not so healthy about these is I'm going to make them look like Halloween muffins. So the healthy part is there's spinach and there's bananas in the, these muffins so I get to hide all of those healthy ingredients inside there which my kids are really good about eating healthy and wanting vegetables and fruits so they're really not picky eaters but I really like how these are going to be a healthier choice of a breakfast and it's the weekend tomorrow, Saturday, and on my previous videos I like to mention that I like to do something fun on the weekends on breakfast because all my kids are home together. So these are going to be really fun and festive for Halloween because Halloween is probably in about two and a half weeks probably. So I know my daughter is really going to enjoy these and my two little boys will definitely like um, these muffins. Okay, so I got everything set out here. Most of everything. I don't have the chocolate chips set out, but um, basically I, you're going to take most of this ingredients, but the flour and chocolate chips, and you're going to literally just blend everything up in a blender. And this is honestly going to be so easy to do. So let's get started on this. All right. The first thing I'm probably going to add is three quarters of milk. And then it calls for two small bananas or one medium banana. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these up into little chunks just so my blender can get a good blend instead of having to blend up a whole banana. Then I'm going to add some oats and this is about a cup of rolled oats and then a quarter of a cup of honey and I got two eggs two tablespoons of melted butter one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of vanilla one eighth of a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to put two cups of spinach in this. And I'm just going to blend this up really well and then scrape down the sides and keep blending it up until it's really smooth. Okay, I'm going to pour all this in to a mixing bowl. And scrape out everything that I can out of it. Then I'm going to add in one cup of 
whole wheat flour. And I'm gonna give it a good mix. And I'm gonna pour in this muffin tin about three quarters full. And I'm just gonna sprinkle these with chocolate chips. So these are gonna go in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. And always use a toothpick to see if it comes out clean to make sure they're done. Now these are not very sweet. They're sweetened with honey. And then of course you got the chocolate chips and the candy eyes. But it's a good, somewhat healthy breakfast for your kids. Okay, moving on to the pumpkin bread. I start out by mixing my dry ingredients all together and here I am scooping out three cups of sugar and two tablespoons of baking soda and then one teaspoon of baking powder and then later on I ended up using about four teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Here you're seeing only me doing three. Then I did one and a half teaspoons of salt and three and a half cups of flour. Now my pumpkin puree was thawed and ready to go. It was in the sink for a couple hours so everything was ready to be scooped out of that freezer bag. So I scooped out about one and a half cups, or you can do about one and three fourths of a cup just to use up most of everything in this freezer bag so you don't waste it. This is probably one of the best pumpkin recipes that I've ever tried. So I'm just mixing all of my wet ingredients right now. And then I cracked in four large eggs and three fourths of a cup of vegetable oil and two thirds of a cup of water and then I just mix this up really well then I pour in all the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients into the mixer then I'm going to mix it really well and then halfway through I'll be scraping down the sides and then mixing it again making sure everything is well and blended and then I'm gonna pour it into three grease loaf pans and then I'm gonna sprinkle with chocolate chips Then I'm gonna bake that for 50 minutes at 350 degrees and try not to over bake this because it can dry out and then it just won't be as good and moist and I'll put all these recipes in the description below so if you guys want to try these and if you do try them let me know down in the comments and tell me if you liked it or not okay moving on to the butternut squash I ended up taking the 
stem part off and then cutting it down the center. And then I scooped out all of the seeds in each butternut squash. I ended up doing two butternut squashes because I have to double it for a family of six. And I forgot this part, but I uh, needed to put some garlic inside of these holes on this butternut squash when I was roasting it in the oven. So halfway through the cooking time, I ended up throwing some garlic in those little holes where I took the seeds out. Then I brushed it on really well with olive oil and then sprinkled it really good with salt and pepper. And I got that all good and coated. Then I ended up putting it in the oven for about 60 minutes, but you might need to cook it longer since there's double the butter squash. I think I went a little, probably 10 more minutes on that. And then I didn't film this part, but then I ended up taking all the flesh out of the butternut squash and blending everything together with chicken stock and cream and the garlic, everything. And then I cooked up some sausage and mixed everything really well. And then I boiled some noodles and then I mixed everything in and sprinkled in some Parmesan cheese. And this turned out really good. Now, if you like butternut squash, you're gonna absolutely love this dish. But if you're not really a fan of butternut squash, you probably, I mean, it's still good. Like my husband didn't really care for, care for it too much because he doesn't really like butternut squash, but we actually enjoyed this meal.